Hi, this is Judy from ClothingPatterns101.com and today we're going to talk about quarter scales. This is a quarter scale and as the name implies it is a pattern that is one-fourth the size of a full scale pattern. It may look smaller than that but believe me this is one-fourth the size of a full scale pattern. Now other than doll clothes what would you use this for? This is a tool that you use to learn pattern making techniques. When I was in design school we used quarter scales to practice techniques such as dart manipulation. On this bodice you have two darts. You may want only one or you may want to move the darts. You may want to have a dart at the shoulder rather than at the bust or rather than at the bottom and you would use the quarter scale to practice that. I will show you at another time how to use this to turn uh, the two darts into a princess seam for example. You will also use the quarter scale once you start designing you can use it for experimentation. So you may have an idea in your mind of what you want your garment to look like, but you're not sure how you're going to get there. You can work it out in quarter scale before you hit the full size pattern. It's less cumbersome and obviously uses up a lot less paper. And you can just kind of play with it. And it really is kind of fun to do this. I really do think of it as play. So you kind of trace this off and move it around and learn how to make uh, the design that you are trying to achieve. So it's good for... Um, experimenting, it's good for learning, and it's good for uh, just playing with pattern making before you go to a full size pattern. Now you can get a set of quarter scales at clothingpatterns101.com on the page marked basic pattern, ma uh, pattern drafting techniques. There's a link there to this PDF. You can print it out. I would then glue it to cardboard before you cut it. That's what I did here. I glued it to cardboard so you have a nice sturdy set of quarter scales that you can use again and again. You use the quarter scales for tracing only. You'll never actually do your slashing or spreading with the quarter scale and you'll never actually do any moving of anything. Uh, this is you, you want to keep these nice and clean and use them for tracing and then you will use the traced copy for slashing and spreading. So go ahead to clothingpatterns101.com, the page marked basic pattern drafting techniques, print out your quarter scales, glue them to cardboard, cut them out, and then we will go through how to manipulate darts and how to use slash and spread to add fullness. So I'll see you then.